I think for us it's really something that we've been working for years and I think uh, it's done in partnership with NRC. We would not have been able to do it on our own. And working together with them we've been able to you know, make this major breakthrough which we believe is, is significant from both parties and overall for Canada in terms of developing innovative technologies that will help us in the future to understand brain function better, understand brain pathology better, and also to be able to drive and design drugs that will help you know, cure um, mental illnesses for which there is no treatment, because the drugs are usually a shotgun approach. And I think one of the unique thing about this chip is that we can report the activity on day one, put the, the chip back in the incubator, and record it again the next day which no other technique in the world allows you to do from the ion channel perspective. So what it really does is that now it opens the possibility to look for long-term detrimental changes that a particular drug may have induced in the brain cells that went unnoticed by any clinical trials. Most people don't uh, endeavor uh, to try to understand brain because of its complexity. There are tens of billions of brain cells and it's all very complex. So engineers have figured out how to target specific cell phones. Then we decided that, well, if engineers can figure out individual cell phone units, why can't we do the same with brain? Because the brain cells, when they fire, they have a very unique firing frequency. Let's like, say C fiber in your nerve that carry pain that have a very unique firing pattern. So if I have a chip, cuff electrodes around my C fibers, when they fire, my chip to number is dialed. And then what it does is it talks back to that fiber and tells it, calm down, it's okay, we got you. So you can actually, you will be able to block pain before it gets to your brain. Similarly, I think in your brain when you have addiction, you have other kinds of pain related issues. Um, um, you will be able to record, recognize the firing patterns of brain cells very uniquely. And then the chip will lock onto those firing cells and it will block the activity of the brain cells. So you know you manage to really control those aberrant functions. Similarly epilepsy is an electrical storm when it actually develops. You have a chip that is sitting subcortically. It should be able to dial your cell phone and warn you that you're about to have a seizure-like activity. So I think if you think about a brain it's like a universe and then um, you have to conquer it inch by inch. So this is the first inch.